Hi everyone. Starting today we are going to work on our coding skills. This will take hardly 10 to 15 minutes of our daily time, so I would encourage all of you to start this challenge with me. We are going to solve all the questions on lead code. I would be using Python 3 for coding, but you guys can pick your preferred language and if you get stuck somewhere please post the issues on the comment section below and I will try to answer them for you. So for those who don't know about lead code, lead code is a platform where you can enhance your skills, expand your knowledge on programming and problem solving and also prepare for technical interviews. So after sign up uh, to the lead code, you will land at this page and we have to click on the problems tab to see the questions for this challenge. Apart from this tab, you can also check the other tabs where is in explore you can see the question based on the topics. Uh, based on uh, specific interview questions asked in a particular company or you can also enroll in the contest held by lead code as you see there are a bi-weekly and weekly contest uh, done on lead code uh, every now and then so let's go to the problem tab and we are going to solve all this question one by one so these questions are divided into difficulty level uh, the solution if it is provided and also it gives the tag of all the values like uh, in which companies they would have asked these questions for also you can go for like uh, a study plan also do this 30 day challenges where they post uh, a question every day for you but we are going to do it like from the sequence so before starting let me tell you this video is not sponsored by lead code it is my personal preference to use lead code for practice my coding skills so now you know, let's start. So the first question is two sum. So let's jump onto the question and see what the question says. So the question is like you have given an array of integers nums and an integer target. So return the indices of the two numbers such that they add up to the target. You may assume that each input would have exactly one solution and you may not use the same element twice. Okay, so they have given the examples as well. So you can see uh, nums is an array uh, which all these elements and we are given the target 9. So what we have to find is uh, we have to return the indices of the value. So in this case like 2 is on index 0, 7 is as at index 1 and the sum of 7 and 2 is equal to our target value. So that's how we have to return the index. So if other elements are also there and they are not repeated, uh, then we have to return all the index values in that. So they have given the explanation also, like because num0 and num1 equal to 9, we are returning the index of that value. And similarly, you can go through the other two examples. So in the second example, they are given 3 to 4 and the target is 6. So the value 2 and 4 uh, makes it 6. So we are returning the index of 2 and 4. So in other case like to match the edge cases like if uh, the target is missing in the input or the num length is 0. You can see that num length will always be equal to or greater than 2 in the constraint. So that uh, you can like uh, make a check or you can like avoid that as well and the one index uh, the value of this will be in between minus 10 to the power 9 to positive 10 to the power 9 and similarly the target value will also be within this constraint and there is only one valid answer which is existing in this one and suppose like when you solve this problem then you have a follow-up so that like you can improve the efficiency so you can come up with an algorithm that is less than order of n square time complexity. So there are two kinds of complexity that is like time complexity and space complexity. If you know data structure and algorithms, you must be knowing what I am telling right now. So this is uh, time com complexity basically means the time required by your program. That is the minimum time required by your program to execute. And space complexity as you know like uh, the space required for your program to complete so they are telling to uh, find a algorithm which is less than n square uh, order of n square but that is still a follow -up. so first try to solve this uh, with n uh, order of n square so order of n square means we have to run few iteration two times so the basic meaning of that is like we might choose two for loops 
सो हाउ आई कम अप विद दैट वन मे बी आई विल डेडिकेट अनदर वीडियो एक्सप्लेनिंग टाइम कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी एंड स्पेस कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी बट फॉर दिस चैलेंज वी कैन लीव दैट अ साइड एंड देन वी कैन स्टार्ट कोडिंग ओके सो देर इज अ इशू आई डिड नॉट वेरीफाई माई ई मेल सो आई कैन नॉट सबमिट द कोड सो लेट मी डू दैट एंड कम बैक लेटर Yeah, so now I have verified my account. So now we can see this run code and submit button has been updated. So let's try to find a solution first. Before that, uh, let me go through the UI first. So if the screen does not come like this, like side to side coding and all, it must be like up and down. And there is one uh, like expand button. If you click on that, it will come side to side. so once you come to this page you can see you can choose your run time so as i said i will be using python 3 for my coding so we'll select python 3 so it basically gives you a class and a definition a basic definition or uh, you can say a function which you have to implement you don't have to write code for taking input or any other thing because lead code will do that for you Uh, so basically you have to focus your mind only on the main function or the main uh, logic uh, which you have to build for the code so starting here let's see how we can solve the problem so suppose let's take an example of first example nums where these are elements are given so how we can find the target n so we can do one thing is like we can start from the num 1 and then try to add this to all of them one one by one so suppose i am taking two as constant the first uh, value and the second value i am iterating through all the elements in the array so uh, what i will do 2 and plus 7 that is 9 so that gives us a target value but suppose uh, 7 is not present here and then let's move on so if 7 plus 2 does not suffice our target then we will increase the value and then 2 plus 11 then 2 plus 15 so like that we are trying to move and uh, so once we uh, get this value and uh, there is like exactly one solution so like once we uh, get uh, this uh, sum of elements to the our target so that means that is our solution and then we have to return the index of that value so as i said we will be iterating towards this loop so we have to iterate towards two times because like first we have to make this constant and then to the sum with all of them in the second iteration we'll make this as constant and take the sum with these values we are not taking with the previous value because we have already taken in the previous iteration so don't worry if you don't understand anything at this point you can directly paste your question in the comment section below and i will try to explain you further on this but i am sure like after seeing the solution you will be able to understand so for i in range of length of nums so what i am doing here is i am iterating with the value of i which is within the range of uh, the length of nums nums here is our list as you can see it is of integer list type and within this uh, i will take another for loop for j in range of but this time i will not take from 0 as like if you don't mention anything uh, for i it will take from 0 to this uh, length but in range now we have to take from the uh, apart from the original value we have to take from i plus 1 so that's what i'm going to give here i plus 1 comma this will also go till length of nums because we don't want to make it like more this one so that like it keeps on going and then we get like index out of bound uh, exception or error so index out of bound we get when our like array is out of range so for both these values the main thing which we have to check is the sum if sum is equal to target so we already have a value target which is provided for our function so we will we can directly do a if statement if num of uh, it's nums sorry nums of i uh, and so which plus nums of i plus 1 or you can say j as well so in this case if it is equal to target then in that case we have to return the index value 
so just hear me out for this how i am directly returning this so let's see so in our first condition so in our first condition suppose our i value is starting from 0 and then our j value will be 1 because it is starting from i plus 1 value so in that case num of 0 num of 0 is 2 and uh, then num of j is uh, num of 1 is 7 so in this condition we are doing 2 plus 7 and then we are checking if it is equal to our target so in this case our target is 9 so we are taking 9 so once this is uh, like getting succeeded then we are returning ij so why we are returning ij because we have to return the index of our result uh, of our elements because if you see num0 and num1 then we return 0 and 1 so how where are we giving uh, getting 0 and 1 0 and 1 is the value of i and j okay so let's now oops so let's now run the code and check if uh, what is the result yeah sorry so num is not present the nums is present and i don't know why i'm giving num so let's correct that and run that code again so yeah so it is accepted your input is 27115 the target is 9 you are getting output 0 and 1 which are the index of 2 and 7 in this case so let's submit the code so once you submit the code lead code will run the, your code for uh, like all the test cases uh, so there are like uh, i guess more than 10 15 like based on the type of code they have all the test cases okay so it will try to run and give you like what is the runtime what is the memory usage of your code how much faster is your code than the submission for this solution how much like you are using memory based on other submissions as well so if the status is accepted then you have solved your problem so the question 1 of 2153 has been solved right now so if you go back to again the problems and see you see a tick mark here so you have already solved these problems so in future you can like uh, so we'll try to solve this add two numbers tomorrow so like that's it for our video i know this video was little long for just a small amount of code but yeah this was the introduction an episode so from now on mostly like i'll be explaining the problems you know how to navigate on to the lead code and everything now i can directly go to the problems explain the problem and then explain the logic behind it and then code it so that is my main problem so next question you can see is uh, add two numbers which is of medium difficulty so we'll see it tomorrow so till then, stay safe and keep learning. Thank you.